Hi guys and welcome to another video and this one I'm upgrading a TV aerial um, because their current one is it's pretty old but it is working but the problem they've got is um, it's quite oversized and birds pigeons starlings whatever are all sitting on top of it and doing their muck um, onto the cars that park below it and she asked me what I can do about it and because of the actual design of the aerial just upgrading it to uh, something a bit more modern uh, will actually mean that there's no real overhang well not much of an overhang over the uh, side of the roof so if the birds do sit on the on the aerial there's they're only gonna sort of poop onto the um, onto the roof so not onto the patio below but I will be putting some bird spikes on it as well just to make it completely uh, bird proof so so yeah so upgrading the TV aerial and they decided to opt for having an extra TV point run down from from the loft where there'll be an amplifier running a new TV point down into the lounge and I'm also going to be mounting their TV up onto the wall so ultimately at the moment their TV is in their sitting room with a long cable run they've just had it all painted uh, the old carpet's gone and I thought well now's a good time to let's see if we can mount the tv do if i'm going to do any drilling while there's no carpet let's do it so yeah mount the tv up there with the tv aerial point coming in from behind and uh, moving up to basically taking a spur from a power socket that's nearby take that power outside and back up behind the tv too so ultimately the tv will be on the wall and you'll see no cables at all done this a few times before there's a few videos on this but it just seemed a good one to do again because it's a clear dry day and yeah thought might, might as well get a video on because it's been a while so right i'm gonna start getting ladders off and get stuff out of the van and i'll come back to you in a minute Alright, okay, so as you saw, I've got the ladders up. I'm just going to show you, then you can see it there. So I've already got the, the new bracket up. That's a 12 inch, 12 by 12 inch galvanized bracket. So I don't know if you can see above it, there's a little 6 inch bracket which is still attached to the fascia board. Now, I can't just unscrew that because they've put the PVC cladding over the top of the bolts and it's going to get right in the way because I want to be central it's going to get right in the way of my new mast that's going to go up so I'm going to go up now with the uh, angle grinder and just basically grind off the two prongs get them out of the way um, yeah so it looks a little bit well so it's not getting in the way of the um, my new mast going up so I'm going to grind that off get the new aerial up and aligned run a cable into the loft where the amplifier will go and yeah, fit a new amp and run a new cable down, but let's uh, let's do this bit first, don't it? All right, nearly ten minutes later, that's ground off. Christ.
Right, I almost forgot. One of the main reasons I'm here, bird spikes. Don't know if you've seen these, I'm sure you installers have, but if you haven't, these are polycarbonate, I think they are. Bird spikes, as a pretty obvious, pretty obvious what they do. Bird can't sit on there without getting a spike up the bum. And I'm going to fit them on the sort of top of the aerial. A lot of people have them all the way along the aerial. It, dep it depends, but I only really need it at the very base of the aerial at the back. Sort of here. I hope you can see that. Yeah, where the aerial is overhanging. So yeah, a couple of foot along the aerial. Just a couple of foot from the back of the aerial, just to stop birds sitting on the back and been able to poo down onto where that yellow sack is down there, and that's where their car is. Yeah, almost forgot to do that. So right, I'm going to get these things attached. Literally, just zip tie them to the top with you know cable ties to the top of the aerial, um, or you can glue them with sealant or whatever like that. But obviously, you've got to wait for that to dry. So I just zip tie them along, and that holds them in place. So yeah, I'm going to get some of some of these attached now. Okay. So this is what it looks like. See that? So you've got spikes. I put it about three quarters of the way down. It's only a little bit without them. That's right over the roof. So yeah, these spikes. They're pretty effective. So yeah, and like I said, they're uh, plastic sort of polycarbonate ones. You can buy metal ones. You see them like on the verges of the window sills in the middle of your city centre or something to stop pigeons sitting. But you can't, you know, they're really robust and they're really tough ones, but you can't fit, well, you certainly shouldn't if you know what you're doing. I have seen it, um, and I did laugh, I've got to be honest. Uh, metal spikes attached to an aerial. You can't go attaching me metallic spikes to a TV aerial because it'll just completely mess up the you know the signal reception qualities it's you can't have anything metal interfering with your TV aerial so yeah that's why they're plastic polycarbonate designed for that purpose so yeah that'll be good almost forgot to put them up because my mind's in a million different places at once but right let's get this aerial up get it aligned and then we'll get in the loft all right okay so I've got a voice over this bit because uh, when I was there on site, uh, the clients were in the room adjacent. So, so yeah, I've got the aerial up and it's all aligned. I've now diverted my attention to mounting the TV on the wall. So here you can see I've got the laser out where I've got dead center of the room and the horizontal line for the bolts. Uh, yeah, just sort of showing the way I like to do it. So I know I've, you know, I know I'm going to get the TV level. And, and dead center, that's the TV there. It's a 42 inch, I believe, uh, Samsung. And yeah, like I said, you know, I like to use a laser to do this. You can use a spirit level, of course you can, uh, but I, just personal preference, I like to use a laser. Okay, so that's where I'm gonna be mounting it, all right? Okay, just wanted to point something out here. Yeah, I've taken this socket off and this is still live, so I've got to be careful, but these two neutrals, you see them? They've just popped out, both of them. I didn't undo that, they just popped out. It's no earth sleeve, yeah. 
for something to look out for when you're taking sockets apart, you know. But yeah, the aim is to go straight out the back of this wall to take a spare outside to come out with a socket up here, okay? Okay, so I've got the TV bracket mounted and I've drilled uh, through the back of the socket um, to bring, you know, to put the spur in up through that hole on the right there. That's where the power cable is going to be coming through and that's the TV aerial cable that's come from the loft. Uh, yeah, I made sure the cable run wasn't going directly above so I could mount that TV bracket there. And this is the TV aerial cable coming from the loft. Um, yeah, quite straightforward. Um, just a hole going up into the loft, cable coming down. This is the other end of the spur where I drilled out, so that's one of those conduit boxes. Obviously to protect the cable, I'm going to have the cable going up inside a PVC conduit and going back through that hole there into the room where I can put a socket. And this is the, uh, the end product. See there's the new aerial just about make out the TV aerial cable there and this is the uh, the finished job with the conduit so that's protected from the elements got a bit of sealant around the bottom part there because of the broken brick but that's protected from any moisture and here we are so that's how it looks with the TV mounted I haven't connected the cable to the aerial yet hence why it says no signal but I'll just show you sort of behind here what I did so it's just a single power socket there we are that's a better shot and a single TV aerial point. But with the TV up on the wall, yeah. I use the TV brackets with a bit of a tilt on them just for that purpose, but look, looks pretty tidy. Okay, so up in the loft now. I'm trying not to get shadow on it, but that's the that's the booster that they've got running at the moment, which is an old cheap one, and it's nowhere near powerful enough. So we're going to connect up the new cable there into master amp and power unit and it'll be job done. So I'm going to get that done pretty quick now because it's getting late. Okay. Okay, there we are guys. Change that. So it's a power unit feeding this master amplifier here. And that feeds all the TV points in the house. That's it. Oh, hang on, you can't see me. No, hang on. Right. That's it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get down now, put my stuff away, and get sorted and get away from here because it's getting on. I've still got another job to do. Cheers. See you in a minute. And there we have it, guys. The finished product, the TV working all fine. Customer very happy. Thank you for watching. Right, you guys, that's it. Job done. Um, she was very happy. Uh, yeah, I think it turned out pretty well. Um, yeah, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. I couldn't uh, get audio of me, you know, me talking throughout the video. So when you watch this, I would have done some dubbing over the top um, when I get it back home in the office. And yeah, so hopefully it looks all right. I yeah. I'm off to a job now to do fit three PIR lights, but it's, it's half past two. I probably won't get there till three o'clock, and it's a Friday as well. I know. I know. Glutton for punishment. But, so I won't get a video of that because I just want to get home in a decent hour and it'll just slow me down. So, yeah. Um, but that's it. Uh, I've got a video coming up next week, hopefully, of a CCTV install. Got to be careful being CCTV. I, I don't want to give away a location or anything like that but if I can get close up to the cameras and what I'm doing then I will um, but I can't give away locations of the recorder etc so I've got to be real careful with that if I do do it it'll be of me putting cameras up but I doubt I'll get you any footage of the recorder or anything like that for security reasons but uh, we'll see how it goes but that's next week but anyway thanks for watching uh, if, if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel it doesn't cost you anything and it just helps my channel grow um, right, yeah, thanks again. See you on the next one.